I remember the first time I knew that I was different. I was eight years old, sitting in the passenger seat of my mum's car out the front of a shopping centre, repetitively touching the front dashboard, blinking in a certain pattern, saying the word God over and over again. Mum looked at me and said, what are you doing? And I replied, I don't know, but I always feel upset. We went to the doctor and I still remember to this day that they told me I had obsessive compulsive disorder and acute anxiety. I had no idea what that meant at the time. I just remember walking out the front, looking up at my mum who had tears in her eyes and asked her, why is my brain broken? From that moment, I felt exposed. I had no idea what was going on, but what I did know is that the barrage of debilitating inner thoughts and feelings had become outwardly visible and I was determined to not let anyone else see the monster that lived inside of me. I was petrified of professional help because in my mind they had just confirmed my worst fear. I was a bad person, I was a crazy person and I was alone. Unfortunately that was just the start. That day was the beginning of what has been a lifelong journey with mental health issues. For the next two decades, things would get worse and worse as I became better and better at hiding behind a mask. Not the mask like we've seen during COVID, but an invisible mask that would prevent anyone from seeing what lied beneath the emotional surface. I was in so much pain yet my life seemed very normal. In fact, it was privileged. I'd grown up in an amazing family in a beautiful area in Sydney, Australia. I'd always been a perfectionist, which looked healthy to many on the outside, but it was just an overcompensation for not knowing who I was. I did my first degree in commerce, which landed me an internship with Microsoft. I was the youngest employee in the country at the time. By my mid-twenties, I was promoted to a global role and moved over to the USA where I would work on some of the biggest product launches for one of the biggest companies in the world, flying business class, mixing with Hollywood elite, and having more responsibility I could ever dream of. It really was living the dream, but not the type that you see on Instagram. The type of dream where you become so dissociated from your own body and life because of an overwhelming internal stress that nothing feels real. Where tears are a daily occurrence. Where exhaustion is commonplace. Where depression is a cruel, familiar friend. Eventually, it all came crashing down. I wanted everything to just stop. What happened next I can only describe as a miracle. In my darkest hour, on the floor, crying, head in my hands. I looked up at the sky and asked whoever was out there, please, please help me. I stumbled upon a YouTube video of a young guy in his bedroom recording a message with his webcam. He wasn't anyone famous, just a regular person who decided to be courageous and tell his story about what he'd been through with mental illness. It was like looking into a mirror. For the first time in my life, someone was putting words to the thoughts, sensations and feelings that no one had ever done before. He was being so vulnerable and so real. In a single moment, my greatest life's need was met, to finally feel understood. For someone to say, I get it. It was like for the first time ever, someone had come along and whispered in my ear, there's nothing wrong with you. I witnessed the power of authenticity and how it can release us from a lifetime of shame and guilt, confusion and loneliness. Through the courageous raw truth of others, we realize we are all human. It's like the most powerful anti-inflammatory known to man. Feeling understood may not take our problems away, but it can allow us to make peace with and make sense of our own story. 
to start putting the pieces together, build a new relationship with ourself, and believe that a new reality is possible. To have editing capabilities over the lead protagonist in our own narrative, instead of it being inked in pen and destined for a lifetime of pain and misery. That one person changed everything for me. It wasn't as if in the blink of an eye, everything just got better. In some ways it became harder, but it was a new type of hard. This time it was healing, not hurting. My mind was no longer tearing down. It was shedding the layers that no longer served me so I could re-emerge as the version of myself I had so longed to be. It has taken a lot of hard work, courage, support and willingness to go toward the parts of myself that has caused so much pain, but I am now living a life I never thought possible. For the rest of my life, my mission is to help as many people as possible feel understood and learn how to cope with the inevitable challenges that arise with our mental health. Nothing is more precious than our mind. So here I am, not hiding, wearing my heart on my sleeve, so I can be the person who helped me for someone else. And that starts with you.